In this video, you'll learn about band customization features available to end users at runtime, including band resizing, band and column reordering, and hiding and displaying bands. You'll also see how to override the functionality available to end users by default. At runtime, end users can resize any grid band by dragging the band's right edge. They can drag and drop band headers to reorder bands along with their child columns. Note though that columns and bands can only be moved within their parent bands, so bands allow end users to rearrange columns while preserving their logical grouping. The grid supports Microsoft Outlook style customization forms, which can be invoked via the band or column header context menu. Drag and drop a band's header to the customization form to hide the band along with its child columns. To display a band, drag it back to the band panel. End users can also quickly hide bands by dragging their headers away from the header panel. Now let's see how to control which of these features are available to end users. If you want to prevent end users from resizing a particular band, disable this band's Allow Size option accessible via the Options Band property. Now run the application to see that the model band's right edge cannot be dragged. However, end users can still resize other bands, which can still affect the model band's width. Now close the application and disable band resizing for the entire view. To do this, expand the view's Options Customization property and disable the Allow Band Resizing option. Now run the application again. No bands allow resizing operations. To enable column and band drag and drop between parent bands, go to the property grid displaying the view's settings, expand Options Customization, and enable the Allow Change Band Parent and Allow Change Column Parent options. As a result, end users can change column and band positions without any restrictions. The grid also allows you to prohibit reordering of individual or all bands. Open the property grid displaying the model band settings, expand the options band property, and disable the allow move option. Now you cannot change this band's position by dragging its header. It can still change position as a result of reordering other bands. To disable band reordering for the entire view, set the view's Allow Band Moving property to false. As a result, end users cannot move or hide bands. Now reset these settings to enable band drag and drop again. After that, disable the view's Allow Quick Hide Columns option. As a result, bands with their nested columns cannot be hidden by dragging them away from the header panel. However, end users can still use the customization form. Once headers are displayed in the Bands tab, they can be dragged back to the view. The grid allows you to override this. Set the Model Bands Show in Customization Form property to false. Now when you hide this band, it disappears and its header is not displayed in the customization form. If you disable the views Show Bands and Customization Form option, the Bands tab is not displayed at all.